uh, welcome to my channel everybody thank you for subscribing and if you have not subscribed please subscribe so in this video i'll be teaching you how to get started with your coda code editor and this is a an editor that you can use on your iphone for android you use your trip edit for your pc you use your vs vsc visual code editor so in this video i'll be showing you how to get started with coda code editor so the first thing is to download it from your apple store go to your apple play store and download coda code editor so click on the first thing is to click on the app this is it here that's that's symbolized with s or n click on it so the first thing when you open it you will not see these files here it is because i've created this folder that's why i saying it so the first thing you will see is this blank space so we have to create a folder first click on the plus icon at the bottom side bottom left so click on the plus okay so after clicking on the plus you have options like new folder new file photos import and the rest we are interested in new folder click on new folder so what should be the folder name i want to create this folder as html html 2024 that's the name of the folder so after that click on create at the top right hand side at the top here you will see cancel new folder you see create so click on create at the top so as you can see these are the folders i've created before and the one i just created now is called html 2024 so click on html 2024 when you click on it click on it so you have a window like this you can see that there's it's showing there is no file or folder so click on it's showing that click on the bottom bar to create the new one slash photos import slash other apps file so let's go back to let's go back to it so go to html 2024 so this is where we were so click on the uh plus icon at the bottom left corner bottom so click on it so you have this option again to create new folder new file so we're interested in the new file so we want to create a file okay so let's let me go back to it again i want to create a file right so click on the bottom left side you can see this plus here this plus click on the plus okay so we want to create a new file click on the second one second option which is a new file click on it so what do you want to save the file name as so let's say um uh, intro intro that will be the name so to end it you put dot html html there means is the file the type of file you're trying to create you are creating an html file so you must save it with dot html that is the file extension if it's css you create it as dot css but this is html so you click dot html so if you want to change the name as as introduction you can write introduction dot html but in this uh, video, we want to save this file name as intro. So that is intro.html. So after that, click on create. So now this is the file we have created. The name is intro.html. As you can see in the body of the file, you can see HTML there. So to start coding, click on the intro.html. Click on it. So after clicking on it, you have this uh, window, this folder. So the first thing we have to do is to add the HTML document, the basic document. We should start with this, uh, to start with the doc type, 
the HTML language, the head, and the body. So these are the things that are comprised in the HTML skeleton or the body. The skeleton, uh, HTML basic documents. These are the things that must be present in your HTML for you to do any coding at all. So to avoid typing, I've typed them before, so I'll just paste it here. So what you have to do is to type it what is here exactly. So you start with the less than sign followed by exclamation mark for this doc type. So the first thing is to type the less than sign followed by the exclamation mark, then type this doc type. The next thing is HTML, just the way I've typed it. So the next line, you write HTML language, then put this one in English, put it, put EN in a um, apostrophe or quotation. So followed by the head. After that, you have your meta, chassis, UTF-8. So this is just the basic HTML document. You have to type it as it is. Do you understand? So whatever that has opening must have a, a close. So like this head now. Let me show you. So you can see this head. So this head actually has, this is the opening head. So to know the closing is the one that is, that has slash, as you can see, it has slash. So for the body now, look at the body. So the body has opening. So to know the closing of the body is the one that has slash, as you can see slash. So HTML has closing too, as you can see HTML. It's open here. Then to know the closing is the one that has slash. So whatever whatever tag that has opening should have closing, except for some. So as you can see, we started with a doc type. It does not have closing. It does not have closing. So HTML has this closing. We did it. Head has this closing. We did it. Then uh, the body too has this closing. So now for us to code, we have to put our coding in the body of the work. So click on this body. I think so in between this opening body and this closing body this year we'll put all our work so let's just type h1 so click on the open tag click on the less than sign so write h1 in between h1 which signifies header one so you have to close the tag to a less than sign then your tag to signify closing this one slash that slash to the left so write h1 also so in between the h1 this is what you write we want to write something that is called header one so this header we have header one to six so h1 is the one that is bigger uh, is the biggest of all the headers of all the headings rather so let's write something like hello world so i want to write hello world on my web page hello world so this is the this word i want to write on my web page so we want to see if it will display don't forget type the basic document as it is then in the body of the work you just write uh your header one or your paragraph whatever it is you want to write but in this video, we're writing H1. So after that, click on this. Uh, this is your keyboard. You can see the keyboard by the right hand side. After clicking on it, so you can at the top side, you can see the icon of I. You can see the icon of a rectangle with an arrow pointed top. So that one is to save. The rectangle with with an arrow pointed top is save. So click on save. Then after that, for you to view your work, you can go to, click on the eye, the eye icon at the top, click on it. So as you can see, this is the result of our work. I'm zooming in for us to see better. So this hello world, okay? So I haven't done that. We have come to the end of this tutorial. So if you find this video engaging, if you find it educating, 
please do not forget to subscribe and watch other videos to learn more don't forget to subscribe comment if you have any issue on any area in this video please comment and i'll be glad to assist you thank you very much